Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Rius and welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing well. I have to say this right away. This deck is expensive and I do not recommend making this unless you already have the cards. And I work too hard to make this work. <laughs> I spent like the last month or so trying to figure out the cards and getting them. But I got to admit, once you pull the win condition of this deck, it is so goddamn satisfying. 20 to 3 life gone. I'm not going to ramble all day about how hard I work on this one. So let's get into the deck rundown. The main point of this deck is to rack up as much fragile as you can fit on Kyonshi Ototo, then spread it using his level 2 card and then pierce the Shikigami using either Suzuka Gozen or Miketsu level 3 amulet. It takes quite a while to get into that point, but once you do, you are basically guaranteed to win. Well, first up we have Shiranui. You know what's the opposite of fragile? That's right, shield. I'm mainly bringing Shiranui for her rally ability, granting shield and more attack. And for her cards, I'm bringing 2 Song of Truth just to get closer to lethal and attacking twice in one turn is always nice. 2 Song of Starfire, you can use this as emergency blocker or you can use this when you have saved up your rally and hit the opponent hard. We have to evolve. You want to evolve her as soon as possible uh, so you can get those extra rally buff. And lastly, to Dance of Sorrow just to make your opponent's life more difficult. Then we have Suzuka Gozen, one of my favorite yokai in this game because she is gorgeous. And I've actually been wanting to make a deck featuring her for some time now. I'm mainly bringing her for her level 3 form and her absurd SSR card. For her, I'm bringing one sharp blade just because it has fast to evolve because you want to put as much fragile as you can on them and hit them hard then two unprecedented that is so hard to say that's that's not going to roll well in my asian tongue to demolish any shikigami that has fragile to homecoming a really great form that synergize with her evolve making it easier for you to kill any shikigami and lastly we have one righteous path this card damage ceiling is actually insane you can easily shave off 20 to 30 points of your opponent's life next one is miketsu if you don't have suzuka gozen ssr she actually has the cheaper option that does similar thing she also acts as disruption for the opponent by removing their shikigami powerful form and for her I'm bringing to expel arrow, remove your opponent's power for form, to harvest for draw power and charge build up, one seal arrow that you can use to either bait your opponent to attack Miketsu or you can use this to stun and possibly kill their Shikigami. One evolve for that immunity when using any of her amulet and lastly we have two dispel arrow. This card is your alternative if you don't have Suzuka Gozen SSR. This card also has a pretty high damage ceiling and since this card also has piercing you can use this to go for that extra damage and lastly the one that will make all of this possible Kyonshi Ototo he's here to spread his fragile while also being a fragile tank <laughs> but you seriously have to play it smart and know when to use him to hold off attack and when to let your opponent smack you in the face for him I'm bringing one miasmatic constitution you can actually replace this with the decaying punch if you prefer to smash your opponent's shikigami to bits but this card works well with suzuka gozen to noxious spray this card is what you're going to use along with your second form first you carefully build up your fragile then spread them using this card and finish them off using either miketsu or suzuka gozen that is the win condition of the deck sounds like a lot of stuff right i know moving on we have two bloated constitution as i explained before use this to build up fragile and then spread them using noxious spray to evolve just so you can make him last a bit longer on the field and finally one stiff pounce now if you feel like your ototo is going to die with all of those fragile on him and you can't wait another turn you can use this instead and kamikaze attack your opponent it's quite effective to be honest and this card also has fast which helps a lot well that's it for the deck rundown moving on with the replays our first match is up against fragile aggro the meme version I guess. There's no doubt their deck is probably stronger than ours but we'll see what we can do. 
They get the first turn and attack with Kyohime and pass. On our turn, we are going to use Harvest to draw a card and pass. We do not want to deal with his Kyohime this early, so... On their turn, they are going to waste two of Kyohime's spell just to kill two of our Shigami. If it were me, I would have waited until at least Shiranui is up. And on our turn, we're just going to attack with Ototo and pass. On their turn, they will attack with Kyohime, then put a really cool form on Suzuka Gozen. Then activate Sharp Blades that gain pass to kill our Ototo and pass. On our turn, we're going to evolve Shiranui and pass. We are not going to take any chances and attack them since they can easily wipe out our Shigami. On their turn, they are just going to attack with Chin and pass. Seems they are also being careful. But I made a misplay here. I should have evolved Miketsu before activating her amulet. After that, we're going to attack with Suzuka Gozen, but they have Chin's trigger, making the damage turn into fragile. But that actually works in our favor because our shock blades gain fast, killing both of them. Letting them build up Tenjo's card is not what we want, so we better off killing both of them. On their turn, they will activate Tenjo's spell and attack with Kyohime and Pass. On our turn, we're just going to evolve Miketsu and pass. On their turn, they will do the exact same move as the last turn and pass. On our turn, we're going to put Bloated Constitution on Ototo and pass. This is the difficult part. You have to know when to put Ototo on the combat zone before destroying them. On their turn, they will activate Chin spell to decrease her countdown, then evolve Suzuka Gozen and pass. On our turn, we're going to evolve Ototo so he can take a bit more damage, then attack and pass. With 3 shield on him, I don't think he's going to die easily. Then of course, they activate Tenjo's spell to steal our Ototo shield, then put a form on Kyohime and pass. Now, this is actually a perfect moment for us. They have no orbs and they can't possibly kill our Ototo with their Kyohime. We're going to attack with Ototo, making him gain a stack of 8 Fragile. Then we're going to scrub them and finish them off with Radius Path. Ah, that is so Our second match is against this really weird projectile divination charge deck. Uh, I actually have another replay of this deck fighting against uh, Kuroshiro Mujo, but in that one, Suzuka Gozen is the one that did the heavy lift. So we're just going with this replay instead. On their turn, they will just attack with Otengu and pass. On our turn, we're going to attack with Ototo, then draw a card using Harvest and pass. On their turn, they will sacrifice their Otengu to kill our Ototo. I'm guessing their hand spells are pretty heavy, so we should be safe for now. And then we're going to attack with Suzuka Gozen and pass. On their turn, they will attack with Dodomeki and pass. On our turn, we will evolve Shiranui and sacrifice our Suzuka to kill their Dodomeki and pass. On their turn, they will evolve an Enra, then activate her spell to kill our Shiranui. On our turn, <laughs> We're going to evolve Ototo, then attack directly and pass. 
On their turn, they will activate Otengu spell to deal 6 damage randomly. Then they will activate another en Enra spell to kill our Ototo. On our turn, we will evolve Miketsu, then kill their en Enra using our amulet and pass. On their turn, they will activate Dodomeki's spell to deal damage to our Miketsu. Then they will activate Otengu's spell to deal two projectiles, killing our Miketsu. At this point, we want to build up our rally, so we're going to pass. We still got a lot, a lot of life, so we should be in a comfortable situation. On their turn, they will evolve Otengu, then activate Flower Under the Moon and pass. On our turn, we're going to activate Song of Starfire and attack. Luckily, it hit both Otengu and Enmusubi, killing both of them. Then we're going to evolve Ototo once more and pass. On their turn, they will try to gamble and damage our Shirani. Then put a form on Dodomeki and pass. On our turn, we're just going to mess with them and attack using our Starfire, then draw a card using Harvest and pass. <laughs> On their turn, they will kill our Shiranui and Starfire using an Endra spell. They are really getting impatient. <laughs> On our turn, we're going to put Bloated Constitution on Ototo and attack directly with 19 health. I don't think they can take him down easily. <laughs> On their turn, they will knock back our Ototo with Otengu's spell. I mean, that works, I guess. Then attack with Dodomeki and pass. On our turn, we're going to attack with Ototo, then follow up using Suzuka Gozen combat card and pass. I think we can still push for more fragile, that's why I used Suzuka Gozen to move him back from the combat zone. On their turn, they will knock back our Suzuka Gozen, then activate Otengu's spell to deal 3 damage to all, our, to all of our Shigami, killing our Suzuka Gozen. Then they will activate Traveler to recover life buddy no matter how much you got you are gone on the next turn on our turn we're going to spread the love then activate miketsu amulet dealing critical and piercing because shiranui revived this turn we got enough damage to swing for a little with ototo well that's all for today's video i certainly hope you enjoyed it and i certainly put too much effort to make this deck work <laughs> well i hope it was worth it for you guys as always if you have any kind of feedback leave it down in the comments and see you next video bye